Good morning, friends. Today's practice is either a reclined yin sort of stretch or a practice we can do without even leaving our beds. Who doesn't like that, right? So we're starting on our backs, the whole thing. We will be on our backs, so coming to lie in a comfortable position. We're gonna be moving through a lot of hip openers. So our first stretch is reclined bound angle, keeping the soles of the feet together. Taking a moment to settle in here. Maybe we haven't left bed yet. Maybe we've returned to bed for this practice. Or maybe we're just comfortably on our mats. Our knees are open wide. We're feeling the space between our lower back and the mat. Maybe we play with tucking the tailbone a little to kind of feel that space. <sighs> Taking nice deep breaths in through the nose and out through the nose. The hands can rest on the thighs. Maybe they're on the belly. Feeling the expansion of the belly on the inhale. And the release of breath on the exhale. We take a few more deep rounds of breathing. Allowing the hips to open where they, where they may. Or gently drawing the knees together, bringing them into the chest, hugging them tightly into the chest. Finding a static wind release pose, or maybe we want to rock a little bit, massage out that lower back, start waking it up. Giving one final squeeze. Releasing the knees, extending the legs straight, reaching the arms overhead. And the arms reach over to the right side. Finding a nice side body stretch up at the top of the rib cage, and walking the legs over to the right side as well. Once we find our shape here, we take the left ankle, cross it over the right, and we're reaching with the fingers and toes Exaggerating this shape, making a nice C. Whoa, just on my foot. Making a nice C shape. <sighs> really feeling this in the side body. Maybe we can grab onto the wrist. If that feels comfortable. Oof. And exhale to come back through center. Again, taking the knees into the chest. for a little counter pose. Mm, and making a few little knee circles. And extending them out, reaching over to the left this time. Mm. <sighs> Breathing nice and deep. Just finding this gentle wake up for the body this morning. We don't even have to get out of bed. How great is that? One more nice stretch before coming back through center, taking the soles of the feet to the mat, repositioning our backs, and crossing the right ankle over the left knee and coming to eye of the needle pose, interlacing the fingers behind the left thigh, getting the groin, the outer glutes, 
Maybe pulling that thigh into the chest, using the elbow to gently open the right knee. Keeping the feet flexed, protecting the knees. Nice deep breaths. Maybe rolling out that left ankle. Pointing, flexing the foot. One big inhale and exhale to release, switching sides. Ooh. Noticing if this leg is tighter or more loose than the other. Maybe rolling out this ankle, flexing, pointing. You get all the motions, all the good stuff. Gently releasing, uncrossing the legs, coming into happy baby. Grabbing onto the outer edges of the feet, wrapping peace fingers around big toes, maybe holding onto the ankle, whatever is accessible to you here today. Being a final nice hip opener. A little lower back massage. Maybe we're sinking into our pillows, our blankets. Whenever we're ready, using the feet to roll us up to a sitting position. Maybe we keep Lying down here for a minute in Shavasana, we take another little nap. Hit the snooze button for 10 more minutes. <laughs> but wherever position we find ourselves in this moment, hands come to heart. And I thank you for taking this time, even just a few minutes, to practice or move your body maybe not even getting out of bed, but just cultivating this consistent awareness of moving our bodies, stretching out a little, just finding a little bit that feels good. And I will see you tomorrow. Namaste.